Welcome to the hottest place on earth. In 1906, a collection of tents were erected to serve travelers with food, drink, and lodging on the road between Rhyolite and Skidoo. When sand obscured the settlement, a length of stovepipe was inserted as a marker, hence the name Stovepipe Wells. Bob Eichmann began construction of a hotel at Stovepipe Wells in 1925, and the hotel has been operating ever since. So Death Valley has some of the hottest temperatures on Earth. So why not stop over at the Stovepipe Wells? general store to pick yourself up some supplies such as water, food, to make your journey a lot more comfortable. But before entering the general store, it was imperative for us to take care of some number one and number two business. We're hoping to get some Dutch because uh, we, we haven't found any restaurants here in this whole national park and we are starving. Uh, we need to recharge get a good meal. The general store offers souvenirs, grocery staples, convenience items, soda fountain, and pre-made food. They also have gas pumps with the lowest prices in Death Valley, but expect to pay higher than what you would get outside the park. There wasn't much to eat, so we left with an ice cream and a magnet. Across the street from the Stovepipe Wells General Store is the Stovepipe Wells Village. We're gonna check out right now. If you're looking for a place to stay, the Stovepipe Well Village offers 83 hotel rooms and 14 full hookup RV sites. Camping spots can also be reserved for $14 a night from October through April, managed by the National Park Services. The restaurants are open from 11 to 7 o'clock, but the only thing is, because of COVID, it's only open for takeout. Fortunately, they have a few of these outdoor dining tables for guests to use. Stovepipe Wells Village has two restaurants, a gift shop, and a swimming pool over here, and uh, a lot of cabins. So if you wanted to stay here um, in a cabin, or you wanted to get an RV site, or a campsite, uh, this is the place to reserve your spot. So if you come out here to Death Valley, the Stovepipe Wells uh, area is probably one of the more convenient places to stay at. Just because you have cabins, you have two restaurants here, you have a swimming pool, you have gift shops. Um, the other option would be Furnace Creek, but it didn't seem to have any restaurants over there, just the visitor center. And here is my family just relaxing in front of the general store, enjoying their ice cream. You like your ice cream, Ellie? Tamsak. Tamsak? Tamsak? You can throw it away, Dylan, if you don't want it. They just toss it in the trash. That, that is not good for daddy. And look at, looks like he just bit into a heart. One of the most essential, essential things you need when traveling with children in a national park is wipes. Here, Nolan, grab one. Wipe your, your mouth. There you go. Coming up, we head over to the Mesquite Sand Dunes. So smash that like button, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications 
and I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.